Uh, hey guys, welcome to Non-Sonic. I thought I'd do a little bit of a strange video. I'm actually in the process of cleaning my garage. And uh, in my garage, I actually have several PC projects that I have actually, well, PCs that I've actually acquired over the last few months. And I haven't done any videos on them just yet, but two of them I've actually purchased from Value Village. And one of them I actually found today so what i'm going to do is actually going to do just a little bit of a walkthrough on this guy right here because i found it over somebody was just leaving it sort of curbside and uh just kind of dumped i guess they just dumped it really and uh, so i you know i thought well any pc is worth grabbing just to see what's uh, what's inside i do actually collect uh processors so i thought you know what if there's anything i'll just keep the processor sell the case uh i don't know it's not worth uh, just throwing in the garbage really anything to do with a computer I think try to keep the technology moving along even if it's uh, really old but a beige case is sometimes you know unique or sought after and I thought I'd just grab it uh, these two these two over here uh, this one's actually a workstation that I bought for about 12 bucks at a, at a value village I know it's a core to do but I'm gonna do a video on this one uh, once I get finished the garage cleanup here and then this one actually I paid about actually Sticker still on it, 39 bucks. Um, I know there's an Elgato card in here, a video card. It's actually an i5. So I kind of grabbed this one because I thought, you know, I can reuse the Elgato card that's in here. And uh, it's actually got some, um, besides being an i5 altogether, it's a pretty good machine that can still play some games and stuff like that. So I'm gonna see what we can do on this one in a future video and, and this one as well. But uh, let's focus on what's inside this because I literally have no idea. Okay, so I got the computer um, set up on my workbench here. I figured I'd just actually go ahead and do this. So if there's nothing um, of use in this uh, computer, um, I don't know, I can always just uh, go ahead and recycle it. But uh, as I was saying, you know, I do collect some parts and who knows what you're going to find inside. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, not sure what's going on here. All right. Oh, okay. So the front of the, the computer was actually missing some base here, or I guess somebody had, I guess they had something here, maybe a CD-ROM or something. So got a drive enclosure. IDE looks like a an IDE drive enclosure. It's kind of neat. Actually, it's got a fan and a power connector. Uh, the lock is not much use. Interesting. So I guess it's like a hot. Oh, okay. So this whole thing can come out and then it just slides back in. So it looks like I don't know if I could just remove it easily without the the key. I guess this just goes up. Okay. Looks like that can be reused. Interesting. Okay, so that's cool. So I'm gonna put that aside. Um, and then we got an Asus. Whoops, Asus motherboard. Sorry, it's gonna push something on the floor here. Uh, Asus motherboard which is an SG01. So I'm gonna see what actually, what, what CPUs this thing can support. Uh, oh, great, yeah, so it looks like whoever uh, donated this, or I guess threw it out, kept the RAM, the video cards and still, still here. And then uh, the main thing is actually the, the CPU itself. So I'd like to be able to boot this up and I'll have to see if I can find some RAM to put in there. Uh, maybe do a little homework on what it actually can take, but let's see for the purpose of this video. I guess we'll do maybe a part one, part two on this on this machine. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a way to uh, give this thing some some life to life again. All right. So PCI slot. It's a little dirty. Uh, this looks like it's an HD, so it's an HD 5450. 
512 megabytes. Wow, that's it's gonna give us a lot, but it's uh, <laughs> a little a little dusty. Decent condition overall. It's a little, yeah, dusty on the bottom, clean on the top. So uh, okay, so we got we got a video cart. Maybe we can even sell that. Somebody, I don't know. I don't know if anybody would want want to buy that, but that's something. And then we got it's driving closure. But uh, yeah, I would be interested in finding out what CPU this is. It's actually a, an Intel CPU in there. Um, and, uh, and then you know what? I'm gonna clean it up and do another video on it just to kind of figure out what else I you know what else I could put on this. Uh, uh, motherboard in general if it's uh, you know the CPU is probably low end or something like that but who knows you never know it might be something uh, worthwhile motherboard it looks like it's in great condition though that's what I was just checking out while I was sort of pausing my thought there for a moment I don't see any uh, any capacitors that are about to explode or something like that so um, it's definitely got and it's got some older SATA, SATA ports here so I was thinking it's uh, Sort of a go-between motherboard. It might be like um, like a dual core or something like that. So I'm gonna see if I can find out what it is that I got in here, and um, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we can play some games on it, some retro games. All right. Thanks a lot for checking out this video.